Good afternoon. Today we are headed to the Hard Rock Orlando Resort to stay for a Halloween Horror Nights weekend. I'm super excited because I finally get to go to Horror Nights. I haven't gone this entire season and this is my time. Yeah. We're going to go. We, we are doing a VIP tour, which they call an RIP tour. Ooh, it's spookier that way. <laughs> it is. So we're going to go check into Hard Rock. And this is an exciting stay because we're going to stay in a, one of the rooms we've never stayed in before. Right. So we're staying in the Future Rockstar Suite, which is a suite that is more geared towards kids. Mm -hmm. And so it's got a separate room that Jackson will be able to sleep in. And it's actually a room that has memorabilia in it. So we've been trying to book this room for like a few years now. And it's just, it's super hard to book because the rooms are so limited in number. Right. And we were lucky enough to book one on this trip. So we're headed out now. We're super excited. Let's check into the Hard Rock. All right, we're all checked in. We checked in at the check-in desk right there with Jim Morrison. And we are headed to our room. So we got a special room. I'm very excited. We've never we've never been in this room before. Oh, yeah. We have to find Elvis's pajamas. Yeah, we have to go past Elvis's pajamas. That's what they told us. That's where our room is. Found Carrie Underwood's dress and Melissa Etheridge's guitar. So far, so good. Oh, well, they have a... Uh... Oh, no. I thought they had Horror Night stuff. I bet you they probably do. Oh, rock and roll dad. That's me. Shakira's shirt. What else? There's a big uh, Jennifer Lopez's dress. Look, there it is. There's Elvis Presley's pajamas. We found them. He slept in these. All right, now we need to look at what, what our room number is. All right, quick first impression of the room. Well, let's see. What does Jackson think? So let's Jackson see. has a special, you have a special room. You want to come look? Ooh. Come look, bud. This is mommy and daddy's bed right here with John Lennon overwatching us, looking over us. Work. Seems like none of the lights work. I don't know. Too, oh, well, go really look, buddy. There's a whole nother room. None of the lights will turn on. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I'm going to look. Okay. Oh, We're going to figure open, this out open together. The door. Open the door to your special guest. Push it open. Push. Just push. push. Just push. Oh. There you go. Whoa. Look at those are all your adoring fans right there. Whoa, buddy. If you step right here, it's like, it's kind of fun. Whoa. So the idea is that's your stage <laughs> yeah. and you're supposed to pre pretend like you're performing in front of this this group of people here. How fun would it be if like if your face was in there? Right? <laughs> like what if you were this guy? <laughs> this guy with the mustache? <laughs> yeah. What about this guy? He's like, what are you doing right now? <laughs> so Jackson, what, what song would you sing if you were having a concert? What song would you sing? Who's this guy? He's like know. playing guitar way up in the stands. What's happening? It says... I won't be a rock star. I'll be a legend. Wow. Whoa! It's Lindsay Lohan. Oh, it's Haley, Haley Williams. Williams. I thought it was Lindsay Lohan. Why'd you think it was Lindsay Lohan? I just saw the red hair. This is Haley Williams. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, these are the only rooms. He's just running like a track meet. <laughs> He's like in a circle. These are the only rooms on property that have actual memorabilia in them. So this is a jacket worn by Haley Williams from Paramore. I didn't realize they were from Nashville. Oh, really? That's what it says. Oh, yeah, Nashville base alternative. Act. Oh, so this jacket was worn by Haley Williams in the Still Into You music video. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Look at the stars up above you, buddy. Did you see up on the ceiling the stars? Yeah. So as Jackson runs around, we were going to do a tour of the room, but as of right now, like, lights aren't working. The refrigerator's hot. Jackson's still having fun though. Refrigerator's hot. Lights are not working in there. Um, this light's not working. The lights are working in the bathroom and in the room that Jackson's staying in. And like half the lights are working in here. So like these lights back behind the bed here are not working. We're just trying to figure it out really. John Lennon, what do we do? So this was Jackson's first impression of the room, but the lights weren't working. So we had to wait for maintenance to come out and fix the issue and they fixed it. We think it was just a breaker, but now let's jump into the actual tour. So we did it. They got the lights working. Things are happening. So let's do a real quick tour of the room. As soon as you walk in, there is a little coffee bar here with a refrigerator underneath or a beverage cooler. Like I said, ours is was warm, so we're waiting for that to cool down. There's a gigantic closet off to the left. Look at this thing. We're gonna put all of our luggage in here. And I can just like, I could, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna sleep in here tonight. This is where I'm gonna, this is gonna be my little room right here. And then when you turn in this direction, this is my favorite thing about Hard Rock, is they give you the heights of people. Come stand next to this, buddy. Stand right up against this mirror right here. Oh. There yeah. you are. Yeah. yeah. You're like three feet tall. I'm more than four feet. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah look at Jackson's height right there. But look, there's Shirley Temple down here. Um, Kristen Chenoweth, Dolly Parton, Stevie three, Nicks, Beyonce. Five. Who's as tall as me? Six foot two, Jay Z, Johnny Cash, and Jack White. James Taylor's taller than me, and Snoop Dogg's taller than me. So there you go. I like that. I like that you can figure out how tall people are. And then every room that we've ever been into in the rock in the Hard Rock has this drumstick piece of art that kind of looks like a waveform. And then we've got a room here that is the bathroom. This is the bathroom for the main bedroom. We've got a double sink. We have a walk-in shower. The one thing that is a little bit of a bummer is that the actual toilet is in the second section of the bathroom with a smaller sink for the little rock star. And then there's also a tub and shower combo over here. Jackson's showing you the size of it here. Oh, there's water in there, buddy. Let's get out of there. There's water in there. I don't know. There's water down on the bottom. I don't know. Then drain it up. I will, okay. We won't worry about that right now. Let's go this way. Back this way. And this leads into the main bedroom. Then that way you know, John Lennon you know. overlooking us. A gigantically tall bed, right? Look at how tall this bed is. And then we've got some USBs behind it, of course. Some reading lights. What? There's a little, this is like the living room section over here. Yeah. We've got a TV some storage and then we head into the future rock star section there's a little stage area here where you can look out over your adoring fans i like that they also put now recording please do not disturb there is an on air sign but i can't figure out how to turn it on so uh, i'm not sure how to do that yet and then in here is the actual future rock star section of it this is where jackson's going to be sleeping is in here and like we said when we first came in there is some actual memorabilia Haley Williams from Paramore, her jacket. This is super fun. We figured out how to do this. Party mode. Yeah, look at that. And there's another TV in here and some more storage that looks like a little road case. It's for like when your roadies bring in all your equipment when you're on stage, this is what it would come in. And I like that the bed also says, the pillows say rock star. And then this leads back into the bathroom where we saw the water in the bathtub. So. A lot of stuff. Jackson has his Dodge Challenger with him. Blue and purple. Make it blue. Make it pink. Blue and pink. And then, of course, the other thing I wanted to point out is there are these little reading lights next to the bed with plugs and USBs. There you go. So you can, you know, have a dimmable light here next to the bed. And you can charge your phone right there. What are you doing? Are you looking out the window, bud? I'm looking out the window for all the people. Oh. Look at all the people. So this is I what can see is, all the trees. That's true. This is the oh, garden. Look at that leaf tree. Oh yeah. So we're getting ready to head down there on. to go to cowfish for dinner. You up for it, buddy? That was something that was actually really nice is that they have a concierge desk here at the hotel and you can go and you can ask them about reservations for any of the hotel restaurants or any of the city walk restaurants the only one i think she said doesn't take reservations is bubba gums right so because yeah. they don't take jet reservations yeah, in general you have to go you have to walk up mm -hmm. uh, so we're headed to cowfish we haven't been there in so long years we used to go all the time yeah all right we're making our way out of the hotel and heading towards city walk and our room is actually right there that's our room so let's do it let's go get some some cowfish. I did find out a bit of information that you don't have to fold up the stroller if you take the water taxi, but we just missed it as they are driving away right now to go towards City Walk. There it is, that could have been us, but we are two minutes too late. It is a horror night's night, but we're not heading in tonight. We're headed this way, I going know, to cowfish. It makes sense why it was so easy to get a reservation for dinner. Right, everybody's going to horror night. Yeah. There it is, the cowfish. That's where we're headed to. The sushi burger bar. Oh, how I've missed you. Fried pickles from Cowfish. Look at the detail close up of the fried pickles. Look at the little bento box that Jackson got. He got a peanut butter and jelly roll. So it's like sushi fried peanut butter and jelly. He got edamame. Then he got a little dessert right here, a little rice crispy treat with the sweetest fish on it. But we also ordered some french fries for him because he loves french fries. Jen ordered the Brussels sprouts. Look at it moving. It's alive. Whoa. Pretty wild, right buddy? What'd you get? The boss roll. Spicy yellowfin tuna, connie and English cucumber inside, coated in tempura flakes, topped with avocado, premium tuna, wasabi tobiko, and wasabi mayo. I got the small version of the cowfish has left the building. You got bacon, banana, peanut butter on a burger. 
looks delicious. And then I got some french fries. It's like, I think it's a fried banana too. All right, so I'm sure you guys noticed, or maybe you didn't, but it was very loud inside of Cowfish. So we didn't do our like full review of the food because it was just, there was so much noise around us. I think because it's just like an exciting Halloween Horror Nights weekend. There were a lot of people there. It was a booked restaurant. A popular restaurant. Very full. So uh, what'd you think of the food? It was delicious. I know that it sounded strange, like peanut butter on a burger, but trust me when I say, you will not be disappointed in this burger. It's got sweet, it's got salty, it's got cheesy, it's got deliciousness. It's got bananas. Bananas. <laughs> also, the pickle chips, the fried pickles, get those every time. If you like pickles, this is a go-to for us at Cowfish. They were so good, like super crispy. Sometimes when you get fried pickles, they're soggy because pickles are like, wet you know yeah. but they were super crisp very thin just wonderful and i love the dipping sauce yeah. they give you ranch but they also give you like a spicy ranch as well Ooh. so so good definitely yeah. definitely recommend getting it we also got the crispy brussels sprouts and those were super good too i know that you didn't like love them because they had the fish like skin on top right um which wasn't that so creepy how it was moving it was yeah. like very Halloween Horror Nights, you know, right? very spooky. Uh, I loved them. They were sort of sweet, sort of salty. I just, I loved the like, it had like an Asian inspired glaze on top. So good. Yeah. Really, really, really like those a lot. Um, it was a big portion too. So keep that in mind if you're ordering like multiple appetizers, they're big portions. Right. And my roll was wonderful. That's the roll that I always get when I go. And it's just like super fresh. I always add uh, like the spicy sauce on the side because I want a little a little kick, a little spice, Ooh. but it doesn't usually have that. So it's not like a super spicy roll. If you're looking for something more mild, it's a good one to pick, but wonderful. Cowfish is great. I, I don't know why we haven't gone in so long. We got to like change that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back, Marty. <laughs> there it is, the restaurant's namesake, the cowfish. All right, so now we're walking back to the Hard Rock and that was a delicious dinner. I, whoa. Whoa, that's scary looking. <laughs> wow. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Ooh, the horror starts out here. Look at that. Trigger warning, by the way. That is amazing. Must be like a lot of different spiders. Well, yeah, there's a couple of big ones right there in the center. This is pretty neat. But yeah, mine was really good. Jen said hers, her roll was really good. Jackson really enjoyed his, which is uh, the interesting thing about Jackson is he's starting to like, like some vegetables. He really likes edamame. He likes peas. He likes uh, broccoli sometimes. So it's like, it's happening. I like that. He used to eat whatever. Now he'll like try things occasionally. Like he tried a fried pickle and his was his face. He goes, hmm. And he like didn't like it, but it was funny. I'm like, I'm glad that he tried it. All right, the next morning and we have ordered breakfast from room service. It all looks great. Look at this. We got some, a side of bacon. Delicious, delicious bacon. This is my omelet that I ordered. And this is the hash, they like give you like little tiny hash browns. I like that. We got some, of course, waters and, and toasts and things like that. We got Jackson some French toast and we said, go light on the powdered sugar. So like, I like how light they went on it. <laughs> and then we also got the egg sandwich. So you can see it's got some bacon and eggs in there and some cheese. Look at that cheese melting out of it. Ooh, this actually looks the best out of any of it. Does it? Yeah, it looks so good. Okay. So, long story short, breakfast was delicious. Really enjoyed that, that was wonderful. Uh, everything that we had was tasted really good. I liked the hash browns, I liked my omelet, was very full of meat. Uh, your sandwich looked really good, was it good? Yeah, my sandwich was really good. I liked the my hash browns a lot. My bacon was very good. Jackson, Jackson loved, loved his bacon. <laughs> he even ate the bacon out of my sandwich. And what? And your toast. And your French toast was really good. Oh yeah. Uh, it was like, I really enjoyed breakfast. And then we just kind of like hung out in the room, relaxed, chilled out, if you will. And now it's time to go to the pool, right? Yeah, it's party. time to get to the pool. Time to go to the pool. So let's do it. We'll grab the GoPro, head down to the pool. Pool party. The party's just begun. Is that right? Oh, that's word party. Oh, word party. close word enough. Party. What do you think, Jackson? It's shallow enough that you're walking around in this pool. <laughs> Look at you. You don't even need that life vest. You just walk around in here. Baby's in the water now. Here we are. Whoa, oh, I like whoa. that there's a DJ here. And Jackson, look. <laughs> Where are you going, bud? But listen, underwater, it's the same music that the DJ is playing. Let's listen. Did you hear it? Thank you. There we go, buddy. 
Wait for them to tell you to go. Wee! All right, we're gonna wait at the bottom for Jackson because he's gonna go down this slide. Woohoo! Oh, buddy. Here we go, splash down. Whoa, we're going fast now. Ho ho! Whoa! All right, let's see Jackson coming. Let's see if he's coming. Something's happening. Yeah! All right, nice work, bud. I you like did it! it. I did like you like it. it? I did! Yeah? yeah? It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh no, mommy lost her sunglasses. Ooh! Ooh! We're getting some speed. Look at those toes. Listen to the Luke Combs. Going down. Whoa! Going down the big slide. Ooh! All right, let's get Jackson. There it is. This way, bud. This way. Uh, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. There you go. <laughs> So after the pool, which we had an excellent time at the pool, Jackson loves the pool, the slide, and he like kept going down, kept going down, kept going down. I didn't put every single like slide POV in. Obviously it would be like 79 slide POVs, but we went down the slide a lot. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we like the end of the day, like towards the end of the day, the lifeguard's like, you guys know what you're doing. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> but I also liked that they had a live DJ. Uh, they were doing like pool games, which was really cool. They had trivia. People were winning like drinks and food. And yeah. so it was just really fun. It was a fun way to spend the day. And the pool area is big. There's tons of chairs. There's like a sandy area, which is pretty fun. The kids could like play in the sand, but they also had just like cabanas, regular chairs too. So. And the underwater speaker. So you yeah. can hear the DJ underwater. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So this was the night of our RIP tour. Mm -hmm. So be sure to look out for that video coming out very soon. Yeah, we had so much fun. So because that's a separate video though, we're gonna switch over to the next morning. Ooh, and we're very tired. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. It is the next day after Horror Nights. It is our checkout day. This was a really good stay. Like the beds were super comfortable. The room is nice. The room was comfortable. The air conditioning worked good. The shower was great. We had rock star memorabilia in our room. Jackson, what did you think about your stars on your ceiling? I liked it. You liked them? Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought this room was really cool. It's kind of hard to book. We've been trying to book it for kind of a long time. Yeah, I think there's very few of them. Yeah, and I think that people book them up. So okay. if you can get one and you have kids, I think if adults would like this too, but I think especially kids. Yeah. Um, it's a cool room. There's a lot of space. I don't know. I liked it too. The yeah. only thing I wasn't a fan of is the only toilet that's in the room is like a little toilet. Yeah. I think for the kids. Right. So that was kind of weird, <laughs> but everything else was great. Right. I will also say the like adult walk-in shower had less pressure than like the tub shower. Which okay. was also strange. Yeah, I took a shower in the tub shower this morning and I was like, this is where I should have been taking a shower the whole time. <laughs> no. This is great. But yeah, we're going to try to find something to eat right now, I think. Oh, I also want to go to the gift shop because I saw a cute t-shirt for Jackson. Oh. So. Fun fact. What? The room that we're in right now, the gift shop is literally right outside of our door. Yeah. Like, you open up the door and you're looking at the gift shop. It's very conveniently located. Right? We're in room 3068. So if you get this room, you're like right in the middle of the action. Oh yeah. So, and I couldn't hear anything, which was nice. Like I didn't hear people in the halls. Yeah. So I don't know, it was really nice. It was a good night. Yeah. And when I say right outside of our door, that's our door. This is the gift shop. It's kind of cool too, because they have like Halloween merch right now for Hard Rock Hotel. Welcome to the graveyard. We've got fun and brains oh that's funny like welcome to the jungle we got fun and games but like graveyard fun and brains good times you can check in but you can't leave yeah, i'm just just barely avoiding copyright i love it so over here in the little rockers section oh you check it and last time we came in here there was one single skittle over here and now jackson is looking for it oh it's still there oh no it's still there there it is we were like don't eat that skittle right but I think we're gonna get him this shirt. I think it's so cute. I don't think we're gonna get Skittles right now, buddy. Buddy, what? Why are you getting Skittles? <laughs> and then so yeah, we're gonna get him this one. Do you like this shirt? I'm a at home. Oh, okay. I like that they he just has a dollar Skittles. and Skittles. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, these are fun, like these kids' shirts. They have a onesie, too. I also like just the plain old Hard Rock Hotel one. That was the other one that I was looking at for him. But I like this all as one as well. 
and the Save the Planet. I would, I would get this in an adult shirt. Oh, my first Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando. That's true, that happened. Oh, a baby shirt! I feel like they do have, like, some pretty, like, rock merch. You know? Like, cool rock and merch. Like this jacket. It reminds me of Rage Against the Machine. Oh, they have little jean jackets, too. But I feel like they, like, also try to cater to... See, here's the sweatshirt. But I want just a regular shirt like this. Oh, it's Hard Rock Cafe. I want to say Hard Rock Hotel. Do they not have that? And they have, like, collabs with Harley Davidson, too. Which is interesting. Oh, look. Is this the same shirt? Pretty close. Like, same idea. Right? Hard Rock Save the Planet. Oh, this is it. It's like a picture of the Hard Rock Hotel. I like that Hard Rock has a collab with, with Harley Davidson, but also like VW buses. Oh yeah, I do. I think this shirt's pretty cute. What's this, this know. brand? It's like Travis Matthew. Oh, never heard Officially of licensed product of VW. I like that they have like memorabilia that's clothing items from people up above the shirts that you can buy. Wait, this isn't live, is it? It's just like a pre-recording. These are like the different Hard Rock cafes. I don't know, San Diego is pretty empty right now. Maybe, maybe these are live. It's kind of interesting. Also pretty wild, you can literally just buy a guitar in here. And a little mini amp too. That are like branded to Hard Rock. And I don't know if it comes with this soft case or not, but this like fits the guitar. This is pretty interesting. So these are gold records from Denmark. From various Beatles, like this one's George Harrison. Paul McCartney over here. But it's all like Apple records. But the thing that's interesting about it is that... They're just for selling 25,000 copies of a single in Denmark. Also, look at this guitar chandelier. Look at how many guitars are up on the ceiling, Jackson. So our Hard Rock stay has come to an end. We had such a good time. It's such a good place to stay. It's close to the parks. There's a boat that you can take that'll take you right over to City Walk, but you don't even need to take the boat because it is the closest resort to Universal Studios Florida. You're like right outside the gates, basically. And right. on the walkway to uh, Universal, there's like a, a butterfly garden. Right. So it's a beautiful walk <laughs> over. Yeah. Another perk to staying at the Hard Rock, though, is that you do get the free express because it's one of their deluxe resorts. So that's pretty pricey at Universal. It's like $80 a day. Yeah. And you per get it, person. And it, yeah, everybody in the room gets the express and it's all day long for every day that you're going to the park. Right. But not for Halloween Horror Nights. No, just like a regular daytime park day. Right. So there's lots of, there's lots of great perks. There's the food there the is. The food yeah. at Hard Rock. Awesome. You've got the kitchen, you've got the palm, you've got the poolside bar, you've got Emac and Bolios. Oh, everything is so good. It's like ice cream. Go get ice cream. It's great. <laughs> uh, and it's just a really cool resort. It's very like laid back, but also has like a fun kind of like party atmosphere and all of the authentic memorabilia. It's really, really neat. You could probably spend all day just walking around looking at all the displays with the different memorabilia. It's, right. very, it's very cool if you're into that kind of stuff. You could go see uh, Beyonce's dress. Yeah. George Harrison's guitar. Oh. I think that was there. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you drive an electric vehicle, be sure to ask at every single Universal Hotel where their chargers are. Because the majority of them have them. Hard Rock itself had like six chargers for uh, for electric vehicles. Oh, wow, that's a lot. But yeah, I think like four of them were Tesla specific, but then there were two that were Universal. Comparatively, that's like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Way more than anything at Disney has. <laughs> yeah. So. All in all, it was a fantastic stay. I cannot wait to stay at Hard Rock again. It's one of our favorite resorts to stay at mm -hmm. in Orlando. But I will link down below because we've stayed at pretty much all the Universal resorts. I'll link all of those stays below so you can check them all out in case you're planning a trip. Yeah. They're all really good for different reasons. So there you go. So all in all, a fantastic trip. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now it's time, time to pay the, the price. price.